All right, you bunch of heathens. I'm going to show you my second project that is a pretty good seller. Now, I didn't sell this one at Christmas last year, but I've been selling them locally at a little shop, and they've been doing pretty well, especially because I've got the price on them pretty high because I use nothing but the highest quality hardware and the highest quality finish. The biggest takeaway I want you to have from this video is how I'm putting the finish on my bottle stoppers because I'm coating these with a resin finish off of my lathe i set up a different little contraption that way i can do three of them at once but of course first i need a bottle stopper so let's turn one real quick i'm gonna turn this resin one i'll turn some of these other ones but i'm not gonna make you sit around for all of them i really want to show you how to do it quickly that way you can sell these and make a pretty good profit So I've already drilled my holes. Again, if you're doing stuff like this, a way to save time is to drill them all in, in batches. I'm gonna get some of these others out of the way. Cup, I actually keep to the side and fill anytime I'm pouring resin and anything else. I pour my leftovers in here, so the colors are probably gonna be pretty crazy. It is actually taking the threads. Once you get the first couple, it's pretty easy. And if you feel it getting too tight, just like when you're threading metal, back it off a half turn and then keep on going. Don't actually thread them with an actual tap you get them little pieces and you don't want those to seat against here because this is going to be your reference to keep everything nice and true and and flat i guess you could say so take a pick make sure you clear that out before you actually seat the base against the bottle stopper mandrel as you can see i turn i leave the cup and everything on i'll turn it off all about speed here baby speed all right, you're going to see most of this turning done with a uh, my negative rig round. It's just what I find works best. But I do have to highly, highly recommend this Total Boat with a medium hardener. This seems to be perfect for this. I didn't put this in a pressure pot either because the way I finish it, any kind of air bubbles or stuff like that, imperfection on the surface don't really matter. This medium set really gets rid of bubbles very, very easily. All right, that's it, I'm gonna stop messing with it. Number one problem I think I had when I first started playing with these, and I see a lot of people have is they, they mess with it too much. It doesn't need to be super fancy, it's pretty simple. I'm gonna hit this with 80, just to kind of smooth out a few areas, and uh, then we're gonna finish it. And that's the cool part. And that's it. That's as much sanding as I'm going to do on it. You're going to say, what the hell, Brad? You're going to get a terrible finish. Just wait. Just wait. I'm going to turn a few more of these, bring you back when it's time to finish. All right, you bunch of soggy McMuffins. We're back. I'm ready to go inside. So I'm before I... So before I do, I'm going to put the resin finish on a couple of these bottle stoppers. All I have here are modified cup turners as you can see i modified them i just cut that shoved in a jacob's chuck this is your standard mt2 taper and uh put a 3816 bolt now this one's a little bit different but that's just because i had other plans for it but it's a one inch eight threaded rod here and i just thread on my mandrel very very important you put the teflon tape on so i'm going to do that now on the ones that need it and then i'm going to show you how to get a perfect resin finish on a bottle stopper. Shit, I ain't got a stick to mix with. Here's my mix stick. That's a good mix stick. <laughs> God, I'm tired of this tiny shop. All right, so we're ready to mix up a resin and we're gonna be using the Total Boat Tabletop. I know I said in the earlier that I love the medium, but uh, for this, I like the tabletop, honestly, because it's easier to mix small quantities one to one. And I found that these little children's medicine cups, you can buy them in like 500 packs on Amazon are just absolutely perfect for measuring small quantities. Because even though I'm doing three here, it's still gonna be more than enough. And I have an extra cup that's going to uh, be where I pour my excess, which is how this one was made. Don't worry, at the end of the video, I'll show you some resin bottle stoppers that were intentional that actually look a lot better. Like the colors look a lot better, but. Anyways, 2.5 mils of A, 2.5 of B. Mix it up and see what happens. And by the way, Total Boat was cool enough that they sent me over their tabletop, their fast, medium, slow, and their thick set. So I've tried almost everything except for their super thick set. 
and I do plan on doing a resin video because there's a couple other brands I've worked with as well. I want to give y'all my experience of what resins work well with what projects because that's really what it all comes down to. All right, let me mix this up. I'll bring you back when it's time to start applying the resin. Why am I like this? I'm tired. That's why. We got our cup turners on. They're just going. I think it's around five or so, five RPMs. Harbor Freight Acid brush make sure you pull any loose fibers out and keep an eye out because they will come out and uh we're just gonna start applying we'll go with this one first now the wood ones honestly will usually take two coats or sorry the spectraply ones will typically take two coats uh if i would have thought about it ahead of time could have hit it with a coat of lacquer to try to seal it a little better but i didn't think about that so it's gonna suck up this first coat pretty well for the second coat you just uh hand sand it scratch it up a little bit and uh apply a second coat the same exact way so there's nothing really that i need to show you but i will show you the final product don't worry because these are gonna look awesome i do just a light coat on the base just to seal it really don't care what that looks like down there though And of course you gotta you gotta pop the bubbles like any other type keep it moving easy to burn these little thin layers you can see how all them scratches disappear because that resin just fills them in beautiful beautiful finish now this blank isn't the prettiest uh because like i said it was just my scraps but somebody out there will like it and it's got texas ebony in it if you can see the wood and then you can see just how much those are soaking it in, soaking it in. You could sit there and try to pop that stuff, but there's really no point because you're going to have to sand it anyway. So it's just kind of a waste of energy. But sand those back by hand, just a hair, you know, 120 grit pad. Hit them with another a second coat and they will look great. In fact, let me show you some that are already done. Well, since I uh, accidentally deleted my ending to this video, I'm just going to make another one. And I'll show you a different set of bottle stoppers I've been working on. Ordered from stainless steel bottle stoppers. You can get variety kits. And it's really just as simple as picking your favorite style. And screwing it right into the same thread pattern that you screw it, that your mandrel is. I really tend to like the classic just point. I think it leaves a good shape. And I really, really love this bottle stopper. Well, it's just scrap wood. And so while I'm screwing these in, I'll show you some other bottle stoppers I've done. Just, I think it was a TikTok video, so excuse the smaller video. And then also how I package them to put them in stores. So I hope you enjoyed it. The biggest thing I think to take away from this video was the resin spinner. And that's a pretty easy thing to put together. If you really need a detailed video of how that was done, leave me a comment. I can consider doing that. That would be a pretty easy video to make for you guys. And uh, please subscribe if you learned anything during this video. I'm trying to grow this channel, trying to get the watch time up so I can monetize this channel along with Brad's workbench and then maybe be a full-time content creator one day. You know, we can all dream, right? All right. Appreciate you guys sticking along to the end, and I'll holler at you next time. Peace!